Hi, this is Derek. This is my response to the article, Sex Differences in the Brain, The Not-So-Inconvenient Truth. Um, it was written by multiple people, so I don't remember the names of the authors. Um, it kind of talks about the same thing as the last article, um, how male and female brains just are different. They're not just the same brain with different hormones and different body parts. Um, it talks about how our brains differ in like three categories, like reproduction, um, reactions to stimuli, and that means a few things, and then neuronal um, circuitry, so the actual like physical shape and circuitry inside the brain is different between male and females. And um, instead of summarizing it, which I mean we're not supposed to do anyway, um, something I'm, occurred to me reading this article, which is relevant to the last article too, is that um, right now there's a thing going on with a transgender MMA fighter who was a man and then had a sex change, so they had surgeries on genitals and all that to become a woman and taking hormones, had breast augmentations and all that, and so now he or she is fighting as a woman in mixed martial arts, and there's controversy over whether or not she should be able to fight against women, and her doctors say, well, she is a woman, and so because we've changed all the things that make a woman a woman, body parts and hormones, so she's a woman, and it's fair for her to fight against other women. But according to this article, there's other things that differ between male and females, such as the neural circuitry, and that also goes with the last article, the way the brain responds to certain things. Um, you know, the thing about um, um, neurological disorders, how they can differ in physiologically in male and female brains. And um, it kind of brings a new element to the question of well, what is a transgender person, what is a sex change, what makes a sex is maybe more than just hormones and physical body parts the way that people kind of view it today. And uh, kind of lends a hand to the people who would be against, you know, the transgender fighter being able to fight against women because, yeah, maybe she replaced her hormones with male hormones and even if she was taking, you know, an androgen, anti-androgen thing like we gave to the mice to block um, androgens, there's still things that in her neuronal circuitry that make her a him, basically. So that was interesting and it was relevant to something that's going on, you know, right now.